Hello guys and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. We were discussing about binary search tree implementation using Python programming language. And in the previous tutorial, we wrote a method for insertion operation. Because till now we didn't wrote any method for the traversal operation. So I can't show you the output here. So that's why today in this tutorial, I'll explain you how this insert method works line by line. So here in this Python program, we have class BST and the execution of the program begins here. We are creating an object from this BST class. The object name is root and here I am passing the data or the value of the node as none. So what it will do is it will create an object. So here we have this program here we can say root BST none. So it will create a node here or object you can say and I'm giving the name as root here. So root and here we can see I'm passing none. So here the key of object will be none. When I create an object from the BST class by default, the initialization method will be called. So it will initialize key L child and R child of the root. So here self is nothing but the root object. So root dot key will be none root dot l child will be none this is the default value and root dot r child is none after executing this line we'll get an object root with key as none l child as none r child as none next it will execute next line root dot insert 20 here we can see we are calling the insert method and here object name is root and the data of the new node is 20 so when I call this method name, so this method body will be executed. So here data will be 20 and self is nothing but root the object itself. So root. So it will execute this body now if self dot key is none. So as I said, self is nothing but root now root dot key is this and it is none because here we passed none. That's why root dot key is none. If node's key is none, then I'll treat that node is not present. Node is empty. I won't consider that node. That's why even though we have an object here, root object, I'm considering this tree as none now because its key is none. That's why here I'll check self dot key is none. So root dot key is none. This condition becomes true. So I'll take self dot key is equal to data root dot key is equal to data. So here I'll change its key and here I'll store 20. Now a node is created with the key as 20 left child as none R child as none. Now our tree contains one node. After executing that it will execute return statement. So it will come out of this method and control goes back to where it is called. So it will come back here. We don't have any other instruction or uh, statement to execute. That's why it'll stop the execution of this program. So we'll get a node, a single node in the tree. All right. In this way, this program works. This is a case. If you take the data or value as none while creating the node or object. Okay. This is the one scenario. And the next scenario is. So here I'll take down the entire program. Let's see how this program works. So this is the class definition execution of the program will begin from here root BST 10. So here I'm creating an object or node with value as 10. So first a uh, node will be created with value as 10. Its name is root and here it is none and none. So this is left child and this is right child. If I take root dot key that is 10 root dot left child none root dot R child is none. So while creating the object, it will call the initialization method. So we'll get a node like this. After that, here we can see list one equal to some values. And next we have loop for i in list one. As we know, i value will be first 20, next 4, next 30 like that. Root dot insert i. Okay, so it will insert the value one by one. So now when it will see root dot insert i initially i value will be 20 so it is like root dot insert 20 so we are calling this insert method for value 20 so here data will be 20 self is nothing but a root 
so it will execute this loop body if self dot key is none root dot key is none as i said root dot key is here 10 it is not none so this condition become false so it won't execute this if body control will come here and it will execute this if self dot key is equal to equal to data self dot key is 10 and data is 20 both are not equal here we are checking for the duplicate value and it is not the duplicate value so it won't execute this if body also control will come here if self dot key is greater than data now self dot key is 10 and data is 20 here 10 is not greater than 20 so this condition become false that means the new node need to be present in the right side of the root node because its data is greater than the root node data 20 is greater than 10 so this condition fails so it won't execute if body it will come here in the else part it will check if self dot r child so here self dot r child is nothing but root dot r child it is none so here we'll get condition like this if none so none is nothing but no value so it is false so this is treated as false this is like if false so here this condition is false so it won't execute if body so it will go to else part here because self dot r child that is root doesn't have right child so it will execute else part here self dot r child equal to bst data so self dot r child is here we are changing its value so it is equal to bst data so bst is the class name and i am passing data that is nothing but we are creating an object so when i take bst data i am creating an object here and its address will be stored here for example i will take 4101 its address new object address so it will be stored here because i took self dot r child equal to right so this is self dot r child and whenever we'll create an object from this bst class this three fields are initialized automatically so self dot key becomes key here bst data data is 20 so here we'll get 20 and it will be none and this will be none okay a uh, node is added like this to the tree now this execution is done and we don't have any other instruction to execute here after this so it will come out of the insert method and control go back to here where it is called so here root dot insert 20 is done so again control will go here and now i value becomes the next value of list one that is four now again this instruction will be executed for four so it is like root dot insert four so we are again calling this insert method for value 4. So control will again go here. The insert method. So here data is 4. Self is root. Because I am calling root dot insert right. So self is root. So first it will check self dot key is none. Root dot key is not none. So it won't execute this. It will execute this condition now. If self dot key is equal to data. So check for the duplicate value. So self dot key is this 10, 10 is not equal to 4. So it won't execute this body, it will come here. If self dot key is greater than data. Now self dot key is 10 and 4 is smaller here. This condition becomes true, right? So next it will check if self dot l child, no. Here self dot l child is none. Okay, root dot l child is none. So this condition fails. So it will go here self dot L child equal to BST data. Data is four here. It will create another object and here instead of none, it will store the address of this new node and it will be none and this will be none. Why? That is because when I call BST data, so it will create an object and this method is called automatically. So it will initialize these three fields. So key is four l child is none r child is none so we'll get node like this so now it won't execute else part because if condition was true so it will come out of this and again control will come here so now root dot insert for 4 is done so next the for loop will execute for the next value so 30 
So we are calling root dot insert 30 here. So now again this will execute and now data is 30 and self is nothing but root. So self dot key is none. No. So self dot key is equal to equal to data. No. Here data is 30 and self dot key is 10. That's why. Next it will check if self dot key is greater than data. So data is 30. Self dot key is 10. 10 is not greater than 30. Right. So this fails. So here we'll go here. Self dot R child. I'll check. Yes. Self dot R child. It is present now. It contains a node. It has some address stored here. So this condition becomes true now. Okay. Self dot R child. It contains some value. So it is true. That means root node have a right child. So it, what it will do is it will execute this self dot R child dot insert data. Now what will happen is here we can see a recursive call. So self that is root R child dot insert data is 30. Now what we are doing is we are calling this insert method for self dot R child. Now this execution will be paused and this insert method will work for this now this function call first. So here data will be 30 but self is nothing but self dot R child. Self dot R child is self now here. What I have stored here that means this node. So here now this is self. So now if I check self dot key is none we are checking for this node now. So here 20 is not none. So this condition fails. Next it will check if self dot key is equal to equal to data. Data is 30 and self dot key is 20. No. Next it will check whether self dot key is greater than data. Self dot key is 20. Data is 30. So no. So it will execute else part and it will check if self dot R child. Here self dot R child is none. So this condition fails. So it will execute else part self dot R child equal to BST node. So it will create a node here with data as 30 and here will none none. And if I, I take address as 7100 that will be stored here. Now the execution of this function is done. Okay. It will execute. It will create the node. Now we don't have any more uh, statement to execute so it is done after that so control will come back to here this function body whatever paused here it will play now so this is done after that we don't have any other statement to execute so this is done control will again come back to here now root dot insert will be executed for the another value of list one that is four now here we are calling root dot insert for 4. So now again control will go here. Now here value is 4. Data is 4. Self is root now because here root dot insert. Just see the object name before the method name. So you'll understand what is self. So self dot key is none. No, it is 10. So it fails. Self dot key is equal to equal to data. No. Here it is 10 and uh, key we want to enter is 4. So no. If self dot key is greater than data. Yes, here 4 and 10. So 10 is greater. This is greater. So I need to place that in the left side. So if self dot L child. Yes, L child is present here. All right. So we need to call self dot L child dot insert data. So here we can see another function call to this function itself. So that's why it will pause this and it will execute this function body for this value now. Okay. Self dot L child dot insert four. So now this will be paused and self dot L child dot insert for four will be executed first. So this will be executed for this now this function call. So this is self now. Here self is nothing but this self dot L child. Here you can see right. And data is 4. If self dot key is none. Here it is 4 not none. So it won't execute this. If self dot key is equal to equal to data. Yes. Here we can see we want to insert 4. And self dot key is also 4. Right. 
so it will execute return so it won't execute any new node to tree it will ignore the duplicate value so so control will come back to this method where self is root okay and it we don't have any other statement to execute so it will stop this and it will come back to here next root dot insert will be executed for next value one next five next six okay in this way this program works when we call root dot insert at that time self value will be root if i call root dot l child dot insert root dot l child will be self okay you just need to remember that and i know i didn't explain all the values here it is incomplete so i want you to complete that just trace this program if you have any doubt you can come back to me you can ask your queries in the comment section after inserting six to the tree so for loop will completes its execution so it will stop the execution of the program all right so this is about the insertion operation in binary search tree so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care